Hello everyone. My name is Nate Tran, technical specialist for NetBackup. Welcome to the Veritas Altaville configuration video. I'm going to do a walkthrough on how to get Veritas Altaville set up and configure. Once you are provisioned, you will receive an email from Veritas with your credential and your organization name. So to access Veritas Altaville, open a web browser and go to alta.us.veritas.com. The first thing you will be prompted for is the organization name. Provide that here and click continue. So the next step is to authenticate to the system. I'm going to type the email and password here and click continue. On this screen, this is the multi-factor authentication using the authenticator apps. So let's type the one-time code here and click continue. As you can see, we are now authenticated and logged onto the system. This is the dashboard screen. The first thing we want to do is configure Veritas Auto View to connect with a net backup domain. So let's click on the top menu, click on domain management, and then click on net backup domains. This is the domain management screen. On the top right corner, click the add domain button. On this screen, we're gonna to need to provide the fully qualified name to the net backup primary server and then click the add button. What's going to happen is that Veritas Auto View will work in the background to establish the connection to the net backup server automatically. Wait for this confirmation screen to appear. There are a few more steps that you have to perform to complete the registration. I'm going to walk through each step here. So the first step is to download the registration file. This file will be needed for later. For step two, let's click on the link here and log on to Net Backup Web UI. This is just a warning that you will be redirected to the Net Backup Web UI. This is the UI I'm going to need to authenticate first. Now let's navigate to the top right corner. Look for the wheel icon. Click on it and click Veritas Auto View. On the middle of the screen, click on Register with Auto View. Now click on Choose File. Let's browse to the file that we download earlier. Let's choose that file and click Open. Now on the bottom of the screen, click Register. This process could take a few minutes. Let's wait until the green bar appears, indicating that the registration is successful. This portion is now complete. I'm going to switch back to the other screen. Let's click close here. This will bring us back to the domain management screen. In a few minutes, you can now see the new net backup host that we just integrated. I'm going to add a second net backup primary server using the same step that we did earlier. Here you go. We now have a second net backup domain listed. For the next demo, I'm going to walk you through on how to add an older version of net backup. In this case, it's version 10.0. This process is quite different and we need to perform an installation of a connector. So let's click on the add domain button. On this screen, make sure to select this option. This will instruct the wizard that we are adding that back of version 9.1 to 10.1. Let's click add here. We are going to need to download the registration file for this system. On the next step, we will need to download the Alta connector. So let's click on the download Alta connector button. We should be redirected to the Veritas software download site. This page will list all the download for each version that is available. Select the appropriate version for your setup. For this demo, we will download the connector for version 10.0. Make sure to also select correct file for your operating system. In our case, we are downloading the Auto Connector version 11.2 for Linux. You will be prompt to authenticate first. If you don't have a Veritas account, you can also create one on this screen. This looks like I'm logged on now, so I'm going to select the correct file. Just click on the download button to download the file. Next, I'm going to use WinSCP to upload both the registration and the connector installation file to my net backup server. I'm now going to use PuTTY to terminal into the server to do the installation. So let's execute the installation file and wait for it to finish. This process could take a couple minutes. Make sure to allow it to finish until you come back to the system prompt. Let's go back to the domain management screen. It is still showing two entry. Let's hit the refresh and see what happens. 
there it is. The third server is now showing up. However, doesn't look like all the information came over yet. This is because the background process is still running and hasn't finished. So let's click refresh again. There you go. All the details now showing. Let's browse over to the data center tab. Since all our server is added to the default data center during the installation, we only see one list here. You can modify the location by clicking on edit if you wish to do that. Let's go back to the host tab. Let's try to connect to NetBackup Web UI from the action menu. There you go, folks. As you can see, setting up and getting Veritas AutoView going is extremely easy and straightforward. This will allow you and your organization to get up and running with very little effort. Again, my name is Nate Tran. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you on my next video.